So first of all, I am a huge fan of Glow. I've Thank watched you. both seasons, talked to the cast, and it's absolutely incredible. But I want to ask you specifically, how does it feel to be a part of a TV show that not only has broken a lot of barriers, but has also helped, I guess you can say, boost up the popularity of women's wrestling Very all in all? You know, it's cool. It's boosted up the popularity of women's wrestling, but it's also boosted up the morale of, I think, it's, it's attempting to add to the story of boosting the morale of women in the workplace. I mean, this is a show that's almost completely written by women, almost completely starring women, almost always directed, but almost always directed by women. We have a couple amazing men peppered in throughout, but this is really a show run by women about women and their stories and that just feels so groundbreaking. I've been acting since I was nine years old and never in my dreams did I ever have an audition like this. It was like you were like one girl in a show of mostly men and there was every woman in the city sort of vying for that one prize and now there's a bunch of crazy cat ladies over there. That's incredible. And now I also got to ask you, the how is the camaraderie, uh, I'm like trying to think, how's the friendship like between you and all the girls? Because I know that second season you guys added some new faces and obviously you're going to be adding some more third season. But tell me a little bit of how the relationship has evolved with between you and all the women. We just love each other. It's like, I remember watching Orange is the New Black and when the girls on the show would talk about how they loved each other, I was like, there's got to be a bad apple in there somewhere. But then for Glow, like we all just love each other. We had we just we hang out all the time. There's a WhatsApp thread that is so overwhelming. Like I'll wake up in the morning to 45 messages. Like it's it's crazy, but it's great. And it's like I was a person. I was always sort of a lone wolf, you know, as a comic and a woman in the entertainment business. And I don't know. I I didn't I toured a lot on my own with my guitar on my back. And this is I never been was never a team. Never did never did team sports. And so to be on GLOW is my first opportunity to be like on a lady team and it's overwhelming and exciting. I mean overwhelmingly incredible. So now you mentioned that you were, you never did any sports prior to this and obviously the wrestling training must have been you know, something new for you. Can you tell me a little bit about how that worked out? Yeah, uh, I lied. Uh, when I auditioned for GLOW, I mean no, I'm not not athletic, I just, I didn't say I was. I said I did yoga and Pilates and that I am flexible and that I hike a lot and that I was in good shape. But I didn't really sell myself as like this exceptional athlete. I think it's interesting because I sort of sold myself this bill of goods my whole life as this person who just like doesn't do sports. And it turns out like, yeah, I do. You know what I mean? I was body slamming and suplexing and schoolboying my girls this morning. God. So you guys are definitely already choosing, shooting season three, correct? We are in wrestling training right now. So we do four weeks of wrestling training before each season with wrestling great Chavo Guerrero and our now Emmy winning stunt coordinator, Shauna Duggins. Incredible. So now I got to ask you, what's it like training with Chavo? And what's, I, you know, from obviously this isn't the first time you've been training. So now do you think that you're grasping it a little bit easier? What's the hardest? What's the easiest thing for you to get? Today I did, I gave and received my best body slam today. Like I did it the strongest I've ever done it and I got slammed the safest and strongest I've ever did it. And it was really, it was really exciting. So body slams are my thing. I'm getting more into suplexes and schoolboys and clotheslines. We love running the ropes and just we're really learning how to how to do the dance from the lock up to the, you know, it's just it's really it's really exciting. So now, have you watched any of the women, whether it be in WWE or elsewhere? And do you, are, are you a fan? Do you have any favorites? Did you learn anything specifically from anybody? I, I love Carmella. I just think she's so she's so feisty and she's so strong and she's like a mini little bolt of lightning. I love the Bella Twins when they were fighting. I just and they're all so cool to us and so welcoming to us. And yeah, there's a there's a good relationship between the WWE and Glow, and they support us and they love that we all do our own stunts. Our stunt coordinator said something amazing today. She was like, she had tears in her eyes and she was like, you know, I'd never, I could never get on the stage and tell jokes. Never, never, ever, ever. Not for all the money in the world. And we gave you guys one month and we said body slam each other and you're doing it. And I got such chills and I was like, yo, we are. It's really cool. When you look back and think about it, you're like, wow, I really did this. You know, it may have seemed one way to you at the start, and now it's like a totally different thing, right? Yeah, I just think we all lifted the limitations we had for ourselves of what we were capable of. And so that's, it's really, it's exciting. Now, awesome. Now, I know you can't tell me anything about season three, okay. but I want to know. I also don't know. Oh, okay. So for you personally, for your character, I want to know, is there something that you're hoping maybe happens or anything like that? I would love to see Melrose in a relationship. I mean, I also think she's probably going to party too hard if I had to guess because they're in Vegas this season. Yeah. And so 
It's going to be an interesting thing to watch her look at everyone else behave the way she always behaved. Like, she was living in L.A., living her life, being, like, sort of very Vegasy. So it'll be interesting when she goes to Vegas and everyone else is doing that. She's going to be like, wait, doing coke and partying is my territory. Exactly. Oh, anyway, thank and you And last so much question. For me. Last question. We are at the Telethon for America. So why is it for you specifically that you want people to get out there and vote? And is there something that you're currently very passionate about? I know there's so many different things that we can be passionate about. But for you, what is it specifically? I just think it's really exercising your right to vote is important for so many reasons. But... A main one is my grandparents are Holocaust survivors. And to look at what they went through and how when they came to this country, they couldn't vote and they were sort of these half citizens for a while. And when I listened to, um, I was specifically listening to this woman whose name escapes me, um, people of color talk about, I mean, that was in my parents' lifetime. People of color didn't have the right to vote. I mean. How can I, who have, who do, who do have the right to vote, and has always have had the right to vote, how can I not exercise that right? And I say to everybody who thinks like I'm just one person, how can it matter? If you got 10 million people who are sitting home and saying I'm just one person, how could that matter? That's 10 million votes that aren't getting counted. Exactly, perfectly well said, Jackie. Thank you so much thank for talking you. to me today, Bye. and I cannot wait to watch Glow season three. Me neither. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Have a great one. Thank.